Aloha everyone, Max with Asian Geek Squad, and in today's video, we're going over navigation. So things like widgets and also customizing them. We're going over quick settings and tell you what each one of these icons mean, and also notifications. Don't forget to subscribe, we have more Redmi Watch 3 videos coming. All right, let's go ahead and just jump right in and get started. First, we have the button here on the right. Once you press that, it will open up your apps. And there are a lot of apps on here. I think most useful will probably be workout or if you want to check out your sleep. But these are also located in the widgets. And if you want to go back to the home screen, we just press the button again. So apps and back home. And once you leave this home page, you can press the button and that will take you back to home. So notification to home quick settings to home. So first I wanted to show you about widgets and also customizing them. This is pretty cool. If you swipe left and swipe right, you'll notice you'll have four sets of widgets. One, two, three, four. And the thing is you can only have a maximum of four, but you can customize these. So first let's delete one. So you would just tap and hold on the screen and push the delete button there on the bottom. Confirm to delete the widget. So now we only have three. Now let's go ahead and add one more. So just tap and hold. And now we have the pluses. So if you add this one here on the right, it will add on to the right of this widget. And we have four different styles. Now the large one, that's only for Alexa and Alexa only. So if you wanted to set up an Alexa to have its own window, that is your only option. So now you have your Alexa right there built in. Now let's show you how to customize another one really quickly. So delete. So we have, we're down to three. Tap and hold, add. But now I'm gonna add something different. So this one is the two tile size and you can select any one of these. Um, for me, I'm gonna go ahead and just select steps to check out my steps. And one thing important is the battery life. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that as well. And finally, let's go ahead and add in heart rate and tap check. All right, so our new widgets, home screen, the new Alexa one we added, and here is the new widget I added. You can customize the widget on the app, so let's go ahead and select one. But even though I have English language selected, it's all in Chinese. So for me, it was a little bit easier to do it on the watch, only because I knew which widget I was selecting. But if you do it on the application, for some reason, it's in Chinese. Next up, let's go to notification. Notifications is pretty easy. You just swipe down from the top. And if you have any notifications, you can just go ahead and tap on clear if you want to clear them. And that's pretty much it. If you want to go home, you can swipe up or just press the button. Now let's finally go over these quick settings and there's quite a few of them. Let me turn a few of these. Let me turn them off. First one here on the upper left, that is do not disturb. So once you press that, you have different options. For me, I just like to leave that on permanently. The next one is if you want to turn it on silent. So if you want to get notifications, but you don't want your watch to make any noises, you can select this option. All right, the next icon here is lift to wake here on the upper right. So I currently have it turned off. And nothing happens when I turn my wrist. Now let's do lift to wake again. And there it goes. Next one here, that is the flashlight. So really bright. Next up is find your phone. The alarm is quite loud, so hopefully that'll help you find your phone. Next up is settings. Um, the one thing I do use quite often is the display brightness. Especially when I go outdoors, I need to turn it up really bright. That's an easy way to access your settings. Next up is theater mode. 
So it's also like do not disturb, but also the screen does not wake up at all. Once the screen is off, it will not wake up at all, which is nice. Next up is to remove water. This will be the place where it'll expel the water. And finally, here on the bottom right, that is battery saver. Now, battery saver will prolong your life, but it will turn off Bluetooth, no notifications or anything like that, but you will still track your steps. Today, a quick video on navigation, getting around your device. So our widgets, we also, show you, we also showed you how to customize them. Quick look on notifications. We'll do a more in-depth video on this. All right, guys, that's our quick video for today. Hopefully this helped you out. If you guys have any questions, leave us a comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. Aloha.